Welcome back to another edition of Vintage Classic Movies. The great director Alfred Hitchcock once said, drama is life with all the dull parts left out. And I think that quote is absolutely perfect to describe the movie I want to talk about today. It was released by Paramount Pictures. It's a thriller called Rear Window, and it stars James Stewart and Grace Kelly, Wendell Corey, Thelma Ritter, and Raymond Burr. It's considered by many classic movie lovers to be one of Hitchcock's best movies, and I have to agree with them. I don't know if it's my favorite Hitchcock film of all time, and I don't know if I'll ever be able to choose a favorite Hitchcock film, but it's in my top three for sure. Rear Window has James Stewart starring as a professional photographer named L.B. Jeffries, also known as Jeff, who broke his leg during a photo shoot, and he finds himself confined to a wheelchair in his New York City Greenwich Village apartment during a heat wave with nothing to do but stare out his window at his neighbors in a courtyard and make out with Grace Kelly. The poor guy. Anyway, while looking out the window, he gets to know all of his neighbors and perhaps a bit too intimately, a dancer he nicknames Miss Torso, a lonely woman he nicknames Miss Lonely Hearts, a composer, pianist, as well as a newlywed couple. But one neighbor specifically captures his attention, Lars Thorwald, played by Raymond Burr. He's a traveling jewelry salesman with a bedridden wife. And one night Jeff hears a woman scream, don't, and he hears glass break. And he starts to suspect that Lars Thorwald has murdered his wife. And this is really when the fun begins. Grace Kelly, who plays Jeff's socialite girlfriend named Lisa Fremont, jumps into the action along with his insurance company home care nurse, Stella, played brilliantly by the great Thelma Ritter, who absolutely steals many of the scenes she's in. Now, I don't want to give away too much of the plot. If you know anything about Hitchcock, you know his movies almost always end in a nail-biting frenzy, and this one is no different. Uh, I've seen this film countless times, and I have to tell you that when it gets dark outside, I always close my shades each and every night. And this movie is probably the reason why I always think I may have some creepy neighbor who's peeking into my life, and no thanks. Uh, Rear Window received only four Academy Award nominations, Best Director, Best Screenplay, Best Color Cinematography, and Best Sound Recording, but sadly, it didn't win any of them. Uh, but it did make it onto the American Film Institute's Top 100 Movies in 100 Years. It landed at number 48. A little bit of trivia about the movie. The entire picture was shot on one set and required months of planning and construction. The set consisted of 31 apartments and quite a few of which were completely furnished and had running water. At the time, it was the largest indoor set ever built at Paramount Studios. While shooting occurred, Hitchcock worked only in Jeff's apartment and the actors in the other apartments wore flesh-colored earpieces so that he could give them directions via radio communication. Once during the filming, the lights which were arranged to emulate sunlight, they got so hot that the soundstage sprinkler system went off. And one more piece of trivia, according to Thelma Ritter, Alfred Hitchcock never told actors if he liked their performance in a scene. Never. But she said if he didn't like it, she said, and I quote, he looked like he was going to throw up. Now that's quite a visual, isn't it? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Thumb it up and leave a comment and subscribe to my channel. Uh, that way I know you're out there and I'll keep making these. And if you'd like to see the list of films that are in my personal collection, feel free to go to my website, VintageClassicMovies.com. They're all listed there. And if you leave your email address when you're there, I'll email you whenever I do a video like this so you can kind of keep up to date, okay? Thanks so much for joining me on Vintage Classic Movies.